We know that the Dickens family love to have toasted cheese to end a meal, and there's lots of clues. One is that a cheese toaster was listed in an inventory they had at their household possessions in 1844, and the other is that their son Charlie remembers it very well when he was reminiscing. He says, How many dinners begun with a glass of Chichester milk punch? How many were finished with a dish of toasted cheese? Well, the answer to how many, according to Catherine Dickens's menu book, of 1851 called What Shall We Have For Dinner is about a third. Now that's quite a lot of toasted cheese. But in subsequent editions, she cuts it down. Why? Well, the clue might be in this beautiful cheese toaster. This is how it works. You put your cheese in here, probably cheddar, with some cayenne, maybe some mustard, maybe a little bit of butter. And then you pour some boiling water down this handle, the handle unscrews. And the boiling water lives in this sort of hidden reservoir underneath here. And then you toast the cheese with what's called a salamander. It's a big iron dish that you hold in the fire until it's red hot and you put it over the cheese to grill it. And then you have this lovely dish of molten toasty cheese. But this cheese toaster is from the 18th century. It's very difficult to get hold of Victorian cheese toasters and that suggests that it was a dish that was going a bit out of fashion. And perhaps that's what Catherine Dickens realised, that toasted cheese was a little bit déclassé, only really to be served for your closest friends and family. Dinner with Dickens was moving with the times.